Over the last year, the Kelowna real estate market has slowed down significantly. And although it's the most stable part of the market, the townhouse market has also been affected. Overall sales are down, listings have absolutely skyrocketed. So is this a warning sign to keep holding off or the perfect buying opportunity? In the next few minutes, I'll break down what this might mean for you if you're thinking about buying and there's one key metric that you must know if you're thinking about selling in this market. So let's start with the townhouse prices. So this is as at the end of September 2024. So if we start at the very peak of the market, so in March 2022, that's when we peaked out. We saw this giant rise here from 2020, 2021, 2022, peaked out at 837,000 for your typical townhouse here in Kelowna. And from that time, we're down about 13%, which brings us to the end of September, where the benchmark price is sitting around $725,000. Now, what does uh, a $725,000 townhouse look like? So I just have this quick listing here it's not my listing, it's just one that I thought was great value for um, what the benchmark price is right now. So this is in the Kettle Valley neighborhood, if you don't know Kettle Valley in Kelowna. It's one of the more sought after higher end neighborhoods in Kelowna. So yeah, 725, three bed, three bath, great family home, great family area, uh, 1,750 square feet. So that's what I would consider great value right now. You're in Kettle Valley highly sought after neighborhood. So that's what gets you 720, for 725 right now in Kelowna. Now going back just one year ago, we were sitting at 760,000 for the benchmark price, which has come down about 5% since then. And at that time, if you remember a year ago, we had the fire. So keep that in mind when I go over the metrics coming up here in a moment. And where we're sitting sort of historically here, if we draw a straight line back to where we, we, we were, that is mid-August of 2021. So that's sort of our level of support, if you will. We're sitting at mid-August of 2021. And if we go back just for fun, we go back five years, the typical townhouse was sitting at 540,000. Then we saw that giant rise in small drop, I would say. And from that time, 2019, five years later, we're about 34% increase in value. So if you've owned a townhouse for about five years, your value has increased approximately 34%. Before we dive into the stats, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button so other people like you can see this video too. And if you'd like to stay up to date on the Kelowna and Okanagan real estate market, hit that subscribe button there and you'll be notified of when my next videos coming up are. And if you happen to be looking to buy or sell in the Kelowna area, there is a link down below in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me there. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into the sales numbers here. So for townhomes, the number of sales we had was 39, about a 5% increase over last year, which is only two more than we had last year. And remember we did have those fires, so keep that in mind there. And the benchmark price we're sitting at about 725. I put that little asterisk there to remind me to show you what it looks like, but I just showed you one there in Kettle Valley and we're down about 5% since this time last year. Now, the days to sell is a number I like to dig into, as if you're a returning viewer here, you know what I mean. And what I mean is, so we're at, sitting at 63 days to sell, which is the advertised days to sell by our board, which is down about 10% since 2023. Now, the actual days to sell, or the numbers that I like to dig into, so I went through every single listing, the 39 sales that we had, and I went in there to see if there were any canceled and relisted properties because the, the days to sell that are advertised doesn't account for the cumulative days to sell. So if a townhouse was listed, sat on the market for 30 days, say, say at $7.99, and then they did a relist after that 30 days, and it ended up set they did a relist and they say they dropped the price to 725 and it ended up selling 10 days later. Well, that 10 days is what gets advertised 
as the days to sell, not the 40 days. So the actual days to sell in the Kelowna area for a townhouse is about 88 days to sell, or roughly three months right now. And right now, sales are picking up in Big White because we're entering, in, we're going into the winter season. So we did have seven sales in Big White. And if you know anything about Big White, the market is a lot slower, especially during the spring and summertime. So condos and townhouses up there sit on the market for a very long time. So we did have those seven sales, which I did not include in this. Otherwise it would skew it probably over, I think it was over 105 days on the market. So it's not really fair to keep those in there. So I took those out. So the actual days to sell ended up being closer to what it's been in the past few months, which is around 90 days to sell the typical townhouse right now. Now the list of sales ratio has not really changed all year. It's hovered around 97, 98% all year. And that goes off of the last list price. So if you had, let's say you had a million dollar townhouse, you and the seller or you and the buyer are negotiating around 2% off the list price. So on average, you would be negotiating around, you know, the sale price would be around 980,000. And off the original list to sale price ratio, I've had a bunch of comments asking about that because the actual days to sell are different. So off of the original list of sales, an additional 1%. So overall, townhouses here in the Okanagan are a more stable product. We have people that are downsizing that go into these townhouses. They, they don't want to compromise on space quite yet. They don't want to go into a condo. And then we have people who are in condos who are moving up who can't quite make the jump to a single family home. So they go into the townhouses as well. And for first time home buyers, some segments of the townhouse market is easier to get into. Now, the inventory is where we see a significant increase. So we've seen 28.5% increase in inventory in townhouses that have hit the market over the last year. So the number of listings that we have on the market right now or as at the end of September is 446. And if we didn't see any more listings hit the market as at the end of September, it would take roughly 11 months to sell off that inventory. Or in other words, that is the months of inventory we have left. So about a year to sell off all that inventory if nothing else got listed. Overall, compared to the single family home market and the condo market, the townhouse market is quite stable despite the number of listings that have hit the market. So if you are thinking about selling, just remember there's a lot more competition out there and to price your townhouse accordingly because right now it's taking between two and three months on average to sell the typical townhouse right now. And if you're a buyer in this market, you're thinking about downsizing or moving up, just remember there is more inventory in the market so you do have a lot more choice and you're still able to negotiate a couple percent off that list price. And after you hit the subscribe button there, the next video up there for you is what does $600,000 actually get you in Kelowna?